Cruise News. So the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting to get different results. Well, get this. We still have people who are watching TikTok videos to get advice on how to sneak alcoholic beverages onto cruise ships. And then they're surprised when they get to security only to find out that security has also watched said TikTok videos of how to sneak alcohol onto cruise ships. We've got that today and a whole lot more on the cruise news. Let's get into it. A dramatic rescue unfolded overnight off the coast of Greece. A tourist ship, actually a Royal Caribbean ship, has successfully rescued 77 migrants found on a sailboat in distress. This operation was coordinated by Greece's Search and Rescue Authority. All aboard the troubled vessel were safely transferred and are now en route to the port town of Kalamata. There are no reports of missing individuals. Details about the nationalities of the rescued or their point of origin remain unavailable. In our next story, Hurricane Debbie has forced Carnival and Margaritaville at sea cruise lines to keep their ships at sea for extra days, as the port of Tampa was closed due to Hurricane Debbie. This situation highlights the challenges cruise passengers may face during hurricane season and offers us an opportunity to discuss how to best prepare for these kind of crazy disruptions. The passengers on these ships dealing with extended voyages are missing work, they're missing flights, and other commitments. From the standpoint of food and other necessities, cruise lines are generally pretty stocked with a three-week supply of goods, but extended time at sea can lead to shortages of some items. If you're cruising during hurricane season, you should expect the unexpected. Consider purchasing travel insurance. This can provide coverage for trip cancellations, medical emergencies, and other unforeseen issues. But make sure to review the terms carefully of the insurance to understand what is covered. Stay informed by monitoring weather forecasts and cruise line communications. Understand that cruise lines have the ability to change itineraries the drop of a dime, including altering ports of call or extending time at sea. Knowing these possibilities can help you manage your expectations and remain flexible. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration predicts an above normal hurricane season this year with an 85% chance of increased activity in the Atlantic Basin. By preparing and staying informed, you can better handle the challenges that may arise during your cruise. All right, up next, this is a great story. In a viral video that has captured over 1.8 million views, TikToker Travel with Nelda reveals Carnival Cruise security scrutinizing 12 packs of soda in search of hidden booze. For some time, clever cruisers on Reddit have been sharing tips like replacing soda cans with beer and resealing the packs to sneak past security. But it seems the party is over as Carnival's vigilant crew catches on to these ploys. Of course they did. I am curious if the people making these videos really don't think that cruise representative watch videos about sneaking things onto cruise ships. I mean, once the trick goes viral, it is only a matter of time before it gets found out. How horrible would it be to make it all the way to the security line right before you get on the cruise and have security ban you from your cruise and possibly ban you for life on their cruise line? So why all the sneaking around? It's the cost of onboard drink packages priced at about $74 per day that motivate these clandestine capers. Some passengers determined to avoid the hefty price tag are resorting to creative and risky methods to enjoy a budget-friendly buzz. Carnival Cruise has responded firmly, reminding passengers of their alcohol policy. Guests can bring one sealed 750 milliliter bottle of wine or champagne on embarkation day. As we navigate these turbulent waters of innovation and regulation, a word to the wise. MSC Cruises is at the forefront of efforts to reduce greenhouse gas emissions in the cruise industry, targeting net zero by 2050. The company plans to cut emissions by 10 to 15 percent across its fleet by 2026 using OptiCruise, a new itinerary planning tool. This tool enhances efficiency by optimizing factors like port call sequencing and ship speed. The industry is also embracing alternative fuels and shore power to reduce emissions. With Seattle mandating shore power for all ships by 2027, these efforts are part of a broader response to findings from the University of Exeter, which highlighted that a single large cruise ship can have a greater carbon footprint than 12,000 cars. MSC's new itinerary is developed with OptiMisi and part of the EU-funded project CHECK will be introduced in 2026. While the impact on guest experiences remains to be seen, the industry is committed to achieving its environmental goals and charting a sustainable future. 
Cruisers are getting younger. The cruise industry is experiencing notable demographic shifts. Over the past two years, millennials have accounted for 22% of cruisers. Gen Z cruisers make up 14%. Together, these two groups under the age of 43 constitute 36% of cruise passengers. These figures come from a recent CLIA survey. The average age of a cruise passenger has decreased slightly and it now stands at 46 years old, compared to 47.6 in 2020. This indicates a modest trend toward a younger cruising demographic. The intention to cruise again remains high across all age groups. Among Gen Z, 74% plan to cruise again. For millennials, this figure rises to 81%. Gen X and baby boomers show an even higher repeat interest with 84% expressing plans to cruise again. The silent generation follows closely with 74% intending to return to the seas. The P&O cruise ship Ventura, en route from Southampton this past May, has been struck by a devastating norovirus outbreak. As the vessel made its return into the UK, the full extent of this health crisis became glaringly evident. Initially, a report indicated a modest 0.64% of passengers were ill on May 22nd. But as the situation unfolded, the true scale emerged. A staggering 519 out of approximately 4,200 souls aboard, about 12.3% were actually affected, according to newly obtained data. In an effort to curb the virus's relentless spread, affected passengers were confined to their cabins during the 14-night voyage around the Canary Islands. Despite a rigorous enhanced sanitation effort and a thorough fogging process, the ship's journey was marred by the persistent shadow of this virulent outbreak. This incident does follow a troubling trend. Just a month prior in April 2024 saw a similar outbreak on two separate ships impacting 150 passengers with symptoms of norovirus. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the cruise news today on August 8th in the year of our Lord 2024. Always remember that no matter where you go on a cruise ship or no matter what cruise line you choose, adventure awaits.